What is up, you guys? I'm officially back. Finally, after so long of being gone, I'm here. Minnie's here. Reggie's here. We're not all here, but we're here. This is scary. So, Halloween has gone by. Life is now in the Christmas realm because everybody stopped giving two shits about Thanksgiving, which, if you're like me, Thanksgiving is just a beautiful time of year where you can overeat and no one will judge you because everyone else is overeating too. Let's be real. That's the freaking life right there is being able to overeat and no one else judges you because everyone else is overeating too. And, you know, even though Halloween's over and Halloween, besides Thanksgiving, is my favorite holiday. I love the scariness, the spookiness, the blood, the gore, the just terrifyingness of that whole year. And, you know, I love horror movies. I love dressing up. I love being scary. But as a 25-year-old, dressing up and trick-or-treating isn't an option. At least not in some neighborhoods. If you're like me, you've been seeing all over the internet that you can't dress up and go trick-or-treating. But just because Halloween is over doesn't mean I can't jump on the bandwagon and do something spooky or fun besides making purge masks for me and my fiance that we only get to use once. So I decided I want to do something a little different that I've never really done before. Why not become a cartoon character? Now bear, bear with me, bear with me here. Don't click away because you're going to miss the freaking excitement and fucking fun that this is going to be to watch me possibly harm myself. Now, I love cartoons. I, lo I grew up watching Spongebob. I really, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo. I grew up watching all of that stuff. And, you know, at the ripe, fresh age of... Well, let's be real. I've always watched Family Guy since I can remember. I was just told not to repeat it. Um, I love Family Guy. I love South Park. I love American Dad. I love all those stupid, funny shows. I think they're funny. Other people think they're stupid. But you know what? They're near and dear to my heart, which they always will be. So, you know... Instead of going out and imitating jackass like I debated on doing, because <coughs> I have before, there's clips somewhere on the internet of me and my friends imitating what we consider jackass stunts. Um, I decided, why not become my spirit animal, my favorite cartoon character right now, who really, he's a whole mood. Like, he is... The definition of me, kind of like that trash can, that trash can's me, but that's besides the point. He is me and I am him. Roger Smith from American Dad. Now, if you don't know who Roger Smith is, you need to pause this, open another little tab thingy, and I want you to YouTube Roger Smith, American Dad, because he dresses up in millions of costumes. He has a mild drinking problem. He just, he knows how to live his life. He knows how to live his best life of many lives. He might have other issues, but we're not going to get into that today just because I want to show you guys how to become Roger Smith in under... $35. I'm saying 35 because it's a rough number. It's a guess because 
I went to the store and I spent $19 and Cody has to pick up two other things for me because Roger Smith doesn't have eyebrows and there is something else I asked him to pick up too that I can't remember. I'm drawing a blank. It's been a long like five days for me guys. I've been sleeping on the couch. I've basically been hacking up a lung. I don't know if I've tasted normal food in days. So that being said, I'm going to get my makeup all cleaned off after a long day. <sighs> and become Roger Smith like I always knew I should be. And um, yeah, I'll be right back and we'll, we'll do this fun shit. Now, I'm going to show you what I picked up to be able to do this in the best way possible that'll make this an easy experience being Roger. Shower cap. I ordered paint things. This did not count in the money thing, so buy face paint of your choosing. Make sure it's face paint. Elmer's glue, I'll explain why. Pre-wrap, to wrap my head, and cotton balls, which is what the glue is for. I'm gonna glue the cotton balls, put it, put them like somehow around my head and put them under a shower cap. So, this is gonna be quite the experience. God, I have greasy skin and I forgot to put my nose ring back in. Um, I decided instead of putting cotton balls under, maybe to attach them to the top of the shower cap. But for now, we're gonna glue them together. This L. Bean magazine to be the base for all the cotton balls. Um, yeah. All right. Um, tear here. Because regardless, all the cotton balls have to get glued together. Um, if, you know. And I will tell you guys, I'm not following, following a s tutorial. This is kind of just my own thing, I guess. So... Hopefully, you know, it'll work out. Um, but for now, let's speed ramp this up a little bit and get gluing some cotton balls, I guess. So far, we got the pieces to go for the head. Hello, I'm here. Yeah. He's home. He got the paint. I got paper. He's gonna take the camera. White balance. No, <laughs> this camera doesn't need a white balance. No. no. Dare you? Oh, we need a paintbrush. Um, bathroom. Should be in the bathroom. Oh, he licked the, the mic. Um, now to, you know, let those dry and paint this, but we're going to get set up, paint the bald cap, let that dry, and go from there. We got Roger's head ready, well part of it, and yeah, so it's drying and Next, we have the fun stuff, painting my skin. So we'll see how well this goes. Hold this thing. <laughs> Very carefully. Cody's learning to be a cameraman. So we painted this. I think I did it off camera. Yeah, I did. And so, oh, it's not completely dry. 
oh well. <laughs> so, painted this. These are together. Um, so, we're going to wrap my head in this. Somehow managed to put these under this and then we're going to make it look like the shape of Roger's head. And then I'm going to paint my face. So, let's see here. That would be the best way to do this. I might actually need scissors. Oh, never mind. It ripped. Okay. So, let's do this here. God. This isn't working. Your hair still. Is it? There we go. Okay, so let's see if we can. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. <laughs> Maybe you just have to put them in and then adjust it as you. Yeah. Okay. I stuck my hand in the wet paint. Gonna need a shower after this. Is it working? <laughs> you look like you have a butt, either a butt or boobs on your head, basically. Because the cotton balls went to oh, the front. God damn it. Alright. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we'll be back. This isn't the best way. To tend to your nose, I feel like there could have been an easier way to do this. Wait, why are you taping your nose in the first Because Roger doesn't have a nose. So I was trying to make it look like I didn't <laughs> have one. Probably would have just painted it anyway. Probably. <laughs> Without the crisscross, I'm just some guy yelling applesauce. <laughs> and this is the final look for Roger Smith under $40. It's horrifying and you probably shouldn't spend under $40. You should probably definitely spend a lot more than $40 or else you're going to look like Roger crawled out of a meth lab or something. <laughs> I look worse than that. I look like Roger's like really fucked up cousin. That he doesn't know. Randy Smith. <laughs> so yeah. This was my comeback video and I am quite a sight. So yeah. If you guys like this video, you know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever your little hearts desire. Us dressing up and trying to be cartoon characters, let me know because this was kind of fun. But yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me and thanks for watching this horrifying video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye!